The Trump administration has waged a war, but this time not against any country, not against any army, but against research. Sadly, the research community is right now feeling its heat. For the first time in the history of biotech research, we are seeing the highest layoff in Harvard, Stanford and top universities in US. And that is why this video, because we hear you, we understand your pain and we know where you are sitting right now in US and what roads you are crossing through. Well, it's true that Trump administration has done something unprecedented, but let's accept the fact that any administration would have done it. Yes, probably uh, they are cutting the same branch on which they are sitting, innovation. But truth be told, USA is under immense pressure and of course it does not justify the cost-cutting measures, but definitely you all are feeling the heat, my Biotechnica subscribers in USA. Now, first things first, I have no idea what kind of research you were doing. So with due respect to that, I completely understand that you were in mid of a research work, you were in mid of projects, you were doing something amazing. And now that this funding crunch has left you on the you know, junction of whether to go back to your country or whether you, to, you should go ahead and transition to industry. According to me, transitioning to industry makes a lot of sense. In fact, staying in the academia never made any sense because people like you should be adding more and more revenue to startups or maybe starting your own startup. So if you are new to Biotechnica, let me tell you, we are here to help you in your career. And this video is going to make things very, very clear for you. Now, as soon as I tell you, okay, you have to transition from academy to industry, you need to know what are your goals, whether you want to get into pharma or biotech, whether you want to get into health and clinical research, whether you want to get into bioinformatics and data science, whether you want to get into regulatory affairs, whether you want to start a consulting or market research company or a market research uh, organization, or you want to become a part of some analyst group, or maybe you want to get into medical affairs and communication. So you need to decide what is the priority? I'm going to tell you shortcuts, but that will only work for those who have persistence. Next goal would be, okay, now that you have decided, okay, this is what I want to do, you have to define the role of interest. Do you want to become a scientist or a senior scientist? Do you want to get into bio-IT, that is bioinformaticians and data scientists? Then do you want to get into clinical research, like clinical research associate or a regulatory affairs specialist or a product manager or a medical science liaison? You have to decide that. Now, the shortcut is getting into bio-IT, because that's booming thanks to the AI, ML and biomedical revolution in the United States and across the world. Now, agreed that the innovation engine has stopped in the top private and government universities in US, the startups are still pressing through. And that is where you belong to. So you can learn artificial intelligence and machine learning and bioinformatics and you can get into industry easily. Given that you already have the experience of wet lab, in USA. Now the question is, how do you do that? So do you need another degree for that? No. If I have to use a computer, do I need a degree to use a computer? No. I, if I won't have to make a PowerPoint, I don't need a degree for that, right? Same way, learning bioinformatics software doesn't require you to get a degree. It's an additional skill on your CV. So my suggestion to you is you can either get into data science, artificial intelligence or machine learning in biology or bioinformatics, and then you can easily get into the industry because they are looking for someone who has vast experience of wet lab and then also skill set which matches their requirement which is bio IT. Now having said that next step would be evaluating and refining your skills so you can always take uh, admission in any of the biotechnicas programs um, or internships which will help you. If uh, you have some project requirements you can discuss with us and we can custom design a project for you which you can do it online and then you can learn bioinformatics and then execute it. Publish some paper on wet lab combined dry lab in bio IT. Add some New skill set on project management, data analysis, that is Python, R, SQL. Of course, you can learn at Biotechnica. Communication and presentation, that's very important. Do some courses on team leadership and collaboration. Then you can, of course, go for Biotechnica's regulatory affairs, FDA, CGMP, uh, guidelines course, which is starting from 1st of April. Even that can be done. Now, followed with that, you can do some industry-specific credential like certifications on clinical data management, bioinformatics, regulatory affairs, PMP certifications for project management roles, various online courses, which is available on Biotechnica. In fact, we have 65 plus courses available on Biotechnica stores. Link in the description. Now, once you've done that, the next aspect will be analyzing your CV, making it AI ready. So, of course, you can take help of ChatGPT. Highlight the keywords 
the right keywords and then make sure it has the photo it, it has got the linkedin link it has a professional email id which you're monitoring constantly it has a phone number that works when the recruiter will call you and of course you can take a help of biotechnica's placement department to place you in various startups in us europe and india now the benefit of doing all this process will be you would have transitioned from the academy to the industry to the industry and then you and your hard work and your skill set determines your growth and not somebody's funding you're no longer dependent on trump's funding instead you're dependent on yourself and the market and i think the market is pretty much clear about what they're doing market is going towards artificial intelligence and machine learning in biology and if you learn that nobody can replace you not even ai because ai also needs to learn a lot and there's no data on biology publicly available just like how the internet is right so now that you have done that okay you have to gain some industry ex exposure by doing projects at biotechnica you can do so we have tie ups with pharmaceutical companies in sweden in us in uk and europe and we can help you there we will help you get into the startups and companies if you want to pursue your freelancing career also using bio it skill you can do that even clinical data management and regulatory affairs are good aspects for you you know your personality is just like a onion with each layer a new talent will come out so stop restricting yourself to academia now is the time to transition to industry and the bridge is biotechnica so what are you waiting for you can take help of all the things which i discussed links are given in the description and if you want to chat with me the whatsapp link is also given in the description and i wish you all the best keep shining take care bye bye